Hello everyone, my name is Kevin Dennis and welcome to the question and answer period. We wanted to take an opportunity to answer a few questions that come in on social media. So the first one is, is it illegal to have insufficient clearance available for a fall arrest system? Uh, and yes it is. Uh, federal OSHA and state regulators require that fall arrest systems have to stop the workers fall before they strike the ground or next lower level. So that one's kind of self-evident. Second question is, do I have to follow ANSI and only use ANSI compliant equipment? And the answer to that one is maybe. Federal OSHA and state regulators do not require specifically using ANSI equipment. However, reference to ANSI is often used in citations and arguments. So many people argue for this reason that for all intents and purposes, ANSI, <clears throat> using ANSI equipment is a requirement. The exception to this is the state of California and any work done underneath uh, EM 385 for the Army Corps of Engineers as uh, that state and the Corps does require somebody following ANSI and using ANSI equipment. If the manufacturer says it's only good for five years, yes, then you would have to throw it away. But we have found that most equipment manufacturers state that it's the function and condition of equipment that's used to determine whether you retire a piece of equipment, not just the age. So that's it, everybody, and keep the questions coming through social media. Thank you.